What's the absolute worst piece of advice you ever received? If you have a bicycle, saw it in half, and get two unicycles. Advice from an honest hobo in San Francisco holding a sign that said one dollar for bad advice. Here's a buck. What's your advice? Buy some more advice. Interesting. Here's another dollar. What else? Don't listen to random strangers giving advice. Hey. That sounded suspiciously useful. I want my dollar back. No refunds. Just get pregnant and marry him. He will have to stop cheating. If you did god am I glad I didn't listen to that. Genius. I got similar advice once. She only hits you and stuff because she thinks you're going to cheat on her. If you're serious about the relationship, maybe you should just marry her. Or something very close to that. Well, first of all, I was like 19 or 20 and second of all, no I'm not marrying her before she can prove she can go 24 hours without berating me or physically attacking me. And then someone helped me figure out I had to end it. And that was much better advice. Got female domestic abusers aren't taken as seriously as male domestic abusers. I'm so glad you got out of that relationship. I was told multiple times by her family that having a child would help fix our marriage. You'll both be focused on the kid. It'll help you bond. When I explained that I didn't want to bring a child into an unstable environment based on a gamble, the prevailing thought was that I was being selfish. Unreal. It amazes me that people think a child is the solution to a problem that will go on for decades as a result of having said child. I know we've been having a rough patch, but why don't we add in thousands upon thousands of dollars of expenses, a grueling physical burden for the child carrier, and also let's just not sleep for a full night for the next 10 years or so, sound good. You only need to feed newborns, once a day fucking what? Cough cough child abuse cough. Yeah in the 50s there was a trend in child psychology that feeding your infant at strict regular intervals was good for teaching a sense of routine and that if they cried a lot you should just ignore them. Your dog came from an abusive household and is shy around people. I suggest starving him for a few days until he is forced to eat from your hand. No, you should never starve an animal. The best thing to do is feed them normally but be sure they see you are the one feeding them. I had to let a friend take care of my parents dog and I told her when they both met she needs to be the one that gives her food and water. Worked out well. You should try washing your face more thanks. I never thought of that. Cries into 15 bottles of moisturizers, exfoliators and facial cleansers. But have you tried X product? Yes, it doesn't work for me. You have to use it daily. I do. HMM. You must not be using it right. Actual convo at hairdresser. Friend told me to pull out student loans to buy cryptocurrency. I didn't listen of course. He did it himself though and got burned on epic proportions. On the flip side, a friend put down his 50 grand house deposit on some crypto. Three months later cashed out and bought his house cash. I feel like when we talk about that friend who went balls deep in crypto it's either that they got burned really bad or they got very rich very quick. Both stories are equally entertaining. Yeah, I'm the guy that bought cocaine online with crypto back in the day, forgot I had bitcoin in my wallet and got 10k. Then I've got friends who read the charts invested and lost a lot to lol. My dad told me to get a goddamn balloon lease on a fucking car as soon as I graduated college. I had no idea what was going on and thought I'd bought the car. Imagine my surprise four years later when not only did I own zero cars I also owed dollar sign 20k or had to get a new car. Fucked my finances four years. My dad is not good with money. It didn't get that bad with me, but after some pretty bad advice on other financial matters, I had a huge light bulb moment and realized that my dad, both my parents, really, are terrible with money and no one should ever, ever listen to their financial advice. I think that was when I first felt like a grown up, actually. Dude my mom has zero savings, zero assets, a maximum doubt credit card, and still constantly gives me financial advice. Thank god I realized early on that, if you wouldn't switch places with someone, don't take their advice. The last tidbit I received was her telling me never to play the stock market because it's a racket and she lost $5000 that way when I was little. 
I asked some follow up questions, and from what I can gather she just gave 5k to a friend of a friend who said he was a stockbroker, and then was told that she lost it all in the market. To hit my abusive father back. Got multiple broken ribs the one time I listened to that advice lol. Dude I've looked through your profile, you need to get the fuck out ta there man. Call the police or something. You're a goddamn grown ass man. You don't need them anymore. Oh I'm about to leave lol. Many years ago my mother told my two younger sisters who were 13 and 15 at the time to get pregnant a sap to any boy their own age so they could get a benefit in child support for the next 18 years. Her reasoning was that the boy's parents would make extra hush payments to keep it quiet and her daughters would be able to be like her jobless and paid by the state to stay at home. Doing nothing. It was actually good advice, because both of my younger sisters are hard working highly educated women now in their 30s with decent partners who are only now looking at having children. That advice finally broke the hold she had over them, and showed them what they didn't want to be as an adult. A 2 year degree in computers? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Nobody uses them, because nobody can afford them. Focus on 4 years of English lit. Advice from an unnamed source in 1990. However, my internet shit posts are top notch. Back when originally job seeking, pretty much everything my parents told me to do. Like sure, it may have worked in your day, to give them a slip of paper with your name and the words reliable and keen. But most major chain stores hire through an online form these days. It's especially fun when you explain to them that decisions of who to interview are seldom made at the store level and will probably be done hundreds of miles away by some putts who will never see your face. They get angry and assume you must be lying. Good to see I'm not the one one who experienced this. When I was in high school my parents told me to go store to store downtown asking to speak to the manager of each store and ask for a job. I told them this is not how hiring works, that would be embarrassing for me and whoever is working there and they would tell me to apply online anyway. I refused to put myself through this humiliation. I was then called lazy when I suggested searching and applying online and grounded until I had a job with no access to my computer to apply for jobs. I didn't end up working that summer. Taking Zoloft will help your disgusting porn addiction. I'll just tell your mom you're depressed and prescribe it to you. My first therapist I had when I was 13 to 14 years old and hypersexual from childhood sexual abuse. If anyone is ever stupid enough to think they love you in spite of how you look, you'd better stick with them for life because it will never happen again thanks, mom. That sure didn't lead to a pattern of incredibly dangerous and abusive relationships I couldn't break until my mid 30s. When I was young a teacher said to me it's rude, if you ask for something, you have to let them offer it first. My mom taught me this growing up, and it gave me aggressive anxiety resulting in me never asking for help when I need it. Same here. Still can't bring myself to even be open about my depression and anxiety with family slash friends, without worrying that I'm being needy. It's just lead to my fear of driving my friends away actually driving my friends away. People are monsters, so you better settle with whoever you can. No thanks mother, I don't wanna rend up with 4 kids and 7 failed relationships and an abusive on and off boyfriend who walks all over me, because I'll let him. Tell ours. Oh my fuck. Ours is a joke. HR's sole purpose is to keep the company out of legal trouble. Period. I had never had a boyfriend before, and my friend told me it's because I'm too intimidating and I should dumb it down when talking to men to make them like me more. I'm really glad that you know this is bad advice. Like, seriously. Everyone is attracted to different types of people. I like girls with whom I can have a conversation with. Honestly, it doesn't even matter what they look like if I'm with them at a restaurant and they're engaging in an actual conversation where both parties are contributing equally. That's super attractive to me. A few of my friends are into the girls who play dumb. I don't judge. There's someone for almost everyone. If you're changing things about yourself just to get a boy slash girlfriend, you're doing yourself and the other person a disservice. If you end up being in a long term relationship with the other person, how long do you think you'd have to keep up the charade? It's not worth it. Just be yourself. Reasonably. 
to smoke marijuana when I was having a bad anxiety slash panic attack. Shit made it 1000 times worse. It felt like time had stopped and I was dying. Never admit when you're wrong the person I hate for how prideful and toxic he is says to me. Don't worry about how much you take out for a student loan. The interest is so low it will be easy to pay off. In college, I broke up with my girlfriend over the summer despite it being the wrong decision. She was the sweetest most loving girl I'd ever met. She sent me a package of really thoughtful gifts for my birthday and I was going to call her and thank her. I honestly think we would have gotten back together. My roommate convinced me I shouldn't call her and give her false hope. I felt horrible and didn't call. I still regret that to this day. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to turn on notifications so you'll be sure to know when the next video comes out. Want to watch some more? Check out my other videos. I really do appreciate everyone who helps make these videos possible. And as always, thanks for watching.